Hello, I'm going to talk about a paper titled Divergence History of the Rufus Taylor Bird or Totemus Ricus of Sunderland, Implications for the Biography of Palawan and the Taxonomy of Island Species in General. So the big circle here is the Sunderland and a small circle show the Palawan Islands which is one of the islands in Philippines. So the map shows that the distribution of Rufus Tail Taylor Bird and sampling sites, which are the black squares. Um, some of them are in Malay Peninsula, Sumatra, Borneo, and one of them is in Palawan Island. So the dark gray indicates the approximate distribution of the species. The organism that was being focused in this paper is the Rufus Tail Taylor Bird or Totemus ricus. There are two pictures here, which are Rufus Tail Taylor Bird of Palawan and also Rufus Tail Taylor Bird of Borneo. Based on the biogeographic patterns, these two populations in two areas show no significant difference in their morphological characteristics which support traditional taxonomy. However, the populations on Borneo and Palawan have been largely independent and experienced only a small amount of gene flow since then. So actually, the precise scenario of division between the Borneo and Palawan populations of Rufus Talibert is still unknown. But they might be have moved back and forth freely between the two islands until 1.2 million years ago. So they dispersed between the two islands. And then 1 million years of almost complete isolation of the Palawan's population is not enough to cause it to be different in morphologically to any extent from the Sunderland population. From this study, it showed that 1.7% of the genetic distance between the Rufus Talibert population of Borneo and Palawan while 1.9% in previous studies. So the two Talibert populations are more distinct genetically than those of kingfishers and black-headed bulbul but much less than the other sister pairs. So this might be because of the Talibert's reduced dispersal capabilities because they have only the short rounded wings so it's very hard for them to disperse but they still can disperse and expected to disperse across salt water more readily than typical Sunda forest so the factor here that determine the composition of the Palawan avifauna are the competition and extinction. For the taxonomy, the bird experts tend to treat populations of similar looking congeners, congeners of the same kind that replace one another geographically as subspecies of widespread species. So, they still treated them as subspecies but not as full species. But in this study, they do not change the classification of the Rufus Tail Talibert's population. Instead of that, they maintain the subspecies as they are. So, actually, here are the results, but I'm just going to focus on the bootstrap illustrations. So from here, the one that I circle is the Palawan populations of Rufus Tail Taylor birds, which show that they are very different from the others based on the phylogenetic analysis. 
so the gene flow is also low. Lastly, what I can conclude here is, from the analysis, it shows that the populations from Western Sunderland, Borneo, and Palawan are very similar based on their morphology and confirms that the Palawa population is genetically distinct from the Western Sunda and Borneo populations. And that's all for me. Thank you. <laughs>